So, you know morning people. <laughs> They're up five minutes before their alarm. It's a brand new day. Oh, I'm so happy to be alive. Let's go. <laughs> and they're off and doing stuff, right? And I've asked people, morning people, um, why do you like mornings? Why, why do you consider yourself a morning person? I don't know if I phrased it exactly like that, but you get the idea. And their response is always like, because it's quiet. It's me time. It's time for me if they're very industrious, right? They wake up in the morning and they're like, that is me time to, to get stuff done. I'm uninterrupted. I can sit down and focus and accomplish things. Okay. If they're not very industrious, they just like mornings. It's the same answer. It's quiet. It's time for me. I can either organize my day or cook breakfast quietly or just have a cup of tea and watch the sunrise. It's peaceful. I relate to that. I get it. That's really cool. And I'm glad that you have reasons why you're a morning person. That's awesome. Uh, a lot of what you just mentioned, though, is exactly why I'm a night owl. <laughs> uh, it's not something I chose. I didn't... It's definitely something you choose with your health habits. I mean, sometimes you do some questionable things the night before and waking up in the morning is a little harder, right? So it's not conducive to being a morning person. But all health choices aside, I just tend to get a second wind in between 6 and 9 p.m. I'm ready to go. I, my brain lights up. I have a lot of focus and energy. It's like the end of the day and I'm on. And the same reasons that people give for being a morning person. Like, it's quiet. Yeah. Night owl people, you know what I'm talking about. It's quiet because there's no one awake. It's just you. Whether you're in your home or you go for a walk around the neighborhood. Everyone's asleep. It's quiet. I like that. And the added bonus of being a night owl versus a morning person. In the morning, your alone time, your focus time, your peaceful morning time, whatever it is, to me, feels like a ticking time bomb. Because there's this deadline on it. It's like, if you woke up at 5 a.m., someone else in the house is going to wake up, I don't know, 6, 7, 8, 9. Someone's going to wake up eventually. And your alone, focused, work, peaceful time is going to come to an end. Because it's going to get interrupted, right? For me, my peaceful, productive, alone time is only interrupted when I got to go to bed. Which, if I'm responsible, is hopefully at a reasonable hour. Uh, if I'm not responsible, I can fight sleep for a very long time. Uh, <laughs> so maybe that's just a, a, a psychological a perspective issue, right? Because in the morning, I'm thinking, this is going to come to an end. I got a deadline. I only have two hours to go. So every second I spend brushing my teeth in the morning is one second I'm not putting to work. Because then kids are going to wake up, or roommates are going to wake up, or a deadline's going to happen. I'm going to have to leave the house to go to work. My peaceful morning is interrupted by deadlines. And I, that's just, I don't see how that's peaceful at all. You know something's going to happen in the next one to four hours. And I don't get that at night. At night, yeah, I know I'm going to go to bed. I know, I have alarms set. Like, hey, you should shut everything down, save everything. Get ready for bed. Sure, sure. But that doesn't produce nearly the same amount of anxiety for me as in the morning. So I've, I've never understood that argument from morning people. Where they're like, oh, it's just me time. I'm like, That's cool, man. That's, I, I really relate to it. But, but it's not you time. <laughs> it's, it's some time you've bought before someone else in the house wakes up. Uh, to each their own. You do you, morning people. Uh, there was something else I wanted to mention, but see, it's it's not 6 to 9 p.m. My brain isn't on yet. So that's it. Stress. Okay, so at night, your day is mostly sorted out, done with, over. There's not a lot of deadlines uh, or due dates at night, right? Once everyone's in bed, it's just you and whatever project you're working on. Even if it's watching Netflix, whatever project you're working on, right? And in the morning, 
the way my brain works, and I'm working on rewiring this because my wife is right in saying that it's way too stressful, and I'm I'm gonna be in trouble health wise if I don't fix this. Uh, when I wake up, I'm immediately aware of the eighty dozen things that need to get done during the day and in the next hour. And if I don't get those things done in that hour, not for the whole day, but just the stuff in the morning, well, the kids are going to be up soon. And then there's 80 dozen more things to do with them. And I don't know what that is. It's like I wake up and my brain goes, here, we constructed the list of everything for today and we're going <laughs> to give it to you here. And so my brain just feels this urgency. Like, like I've got to take on 12 things at once and get it done immediately. <laughs> and that is not peaceful or calm for me at all. Uh, so I would definitely benefit from setting that alarm for 5 a.m. and doing like a 20 minute meditation because my default upon waking up is go mode and it's overwhelmed go mode. So I don't get that at night. At night, I could be overwhelmed. There could be 80 dozen things to do. But like I said earlier, peaceful, quiet, uninterrupted. I'll get to it. I can handle it because there's not going to be any alarms going off. But in the morning, I'm like, any second, dynamite. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Um, hmm. That's what I got. Morning people versus night owls. I I appreciate you morning people. You you're awesome getting things running. Um I just it's not for me. And <laughs> the funny part about all this is as a night owl, you you shoot yourself in the foot all the time because your favorite time of the day is going to be cut short so you can go to bed early enough to be a member of society. <laughs> if you're up too late, your sleep is going to get cut into, right? And you're going to be tired the next day. You're going to be even more miserable in the morning. The funniest part of all this is like, while you were all up, myself included, late at night doing your thing and then sleeping past 5 a.m. the next day, all the morning people woke up and they organized society to better fit their life. <laughs> Everything opens early in the day and the day gets started. And all you night owls, you better show up to work on time. Even though your best work hours are from 6 to midnight. Uh, it's just a random joke. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> Have a great night in this case. It's about to be nighttime. Uh, what are you? Are you a morning person or a night owl? Do you uh, relate to any of the things I brought up? Did I miss anything? Because... Uh, I'd love to hear about it. You know, how can I better slow my brain down a little bit in the mornings so I could come to enjoy your beautiful morning bliss? Peace. Stay, take care of yourself, okay?